Steve, while we wait for hear back more from the um, from the landing team, tell us a little bit about how uh, Starliner gets back to Florida. What what is that journey like? Well, they'll move. Uh, they'll basically after they get Starliner safe on the ground, they will um, they will put it on a on a truck inside a uh, crate that'll control the environment around it, and then it's a simple drive from White Sands, New Mexico, to uh, Cape Canaveral, Florida, to Kennedy Space Center. Sure, that sounds simple. <laughs> where the um, where the engineers will uh, pour through it and ultimately refurbish it, and we're going to fly it again. We are not only using these capsules one time. Each of these capsules is designed for 10 times to go in space. We look forward to seeing this one land on its 10th time then. And it sounds like we have uh, Josh ready again to give us another update. Josh, can you hear us? Hey, Brandy. Yes, I'm still here. Uh, you can see the green team has just got that environmental enclosure in place. So now the red team will continue backing up that mobile access platform right up to the hatch. Uh, they'll extend a little bit of, of that, almost touching uh, the hatch, but we don't want to make contact with the vehicle and potentially damage the thermal protection system. Because uh, as you guys just mentioned, this vehicle will be reused. So that thermal protection system needs to be uh, maintain integrity. Uh, we will replace the Ford heat shield and the base heat shield. Actually, uh, the Ford heat shield landed probably about 600 feet away from the capsule. I'm looking at it right now. It landed on its nose. Um, haven't found the base heat shield yet, but uh, I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Um, the crew, you can see that that's the astronaut crew in their pink vests. Now, uh, you might not have heard me about talk about pink team. Pink team is just uh, kind of the observers. They don't have an operational role, um, but they are in brightly colored pink vests just to make sure, uh, you know, they're visible and uh, the operational teams kind of uh, avoid them. As, uh, or they avoid the operational teams and don't, don't uh, get in the way of the operation. But um, again, that environmental enclosure, they're just kind of adjusting it a little bit right now to give red team to the hatch. Uh, there you see the mobile access platform backing ever so slowly. They're very, being very careful not to damage that thermal protection system. Josh, have They've you had a chance to talk with any of the astronauts, get any of any of their thoughts on watching the landing? I have not. They uh, got out of the car and walked straight up to the vehicle while we're trying to get this video link back up for you guys, but I will be sure to grab them as soon as I can. Understandable if they want to hurry over. Yeah, I know uh, I know Josh is back in Houston watching and Sunny's here and uh, I'm sure she's extremely pleased seeing her ride back on Earth safely.